ready to go here. The Pistons trying to move on while the other Eastern playoff teams are locked in either six or seven game battles. So that's a big edge for the team that had the best record in the league. Detroit was 64 and 18, their franchise best. And the opening tip controlled by Wallace. Puts Detroit in front five seconds into the game. Well, I'll tell you what, if he can continually hit that mid-range shot right there, the hardest shot in basketball, it's going to make him so much better. And there is Rip Hamilton. Red with the reverse layup and the rebound by Rasheed. Still tied at four. Here is Hamilton with the pass to Tayshawn Prince. Prince came out aggressively after a quiet game three, and it paid off. He had 10 of his 18 points in the first quarter of the last out. Here's Billups. Working against Red, Hamilton from the corner. He has had tremendous looks so far. Hamilton ties the game at 12. Continue to put pressure on. You're, you know you can score points against this team. Now Ford is on Hamilton, which means Red is on Phillips. Wallace hitting a three. First three-point basket of the game. Rasheed Wallace, who now has 10 in the series to lead all players. One point lead. For the Pistons. Oh, they're going to pose TJ every single time down the floor. And that'll drop for Hamilton. Hamilton has eight points on four for seven from the field. Or on the shot clock, Hamilton shooting over the floor hit. So Hamilton off to a big start. Has eight points on five for eight shooting from the field. And the Pistons are up by Hamilton. The three. Red hot. Hamilton now with 15 first quarter points. Is Smith in the corner. And does it go? It's one shot and out for the Milwaukee Bucks. And here come the Pistons back. Rasheed Wallace with the short bank shot is in. And they've opened up now a 12-point lead. Have the Pistons 28 to 16. But tonight he has found his offensive groove. Well, it's funny on that play right there, Michael Red. It's going to garner so much attention because of his last three ball games. You have not only his man Rip Hamilton following him out, but Ben Wallace showing high. And Hamilton continues his hot play. 17 points as in 7 of 11 from the field. Put basket by Hamilton. He's now 8 of 12 from the field. And Rip Hamilton with 19 points coming off the screen. And that's definitely the advantage Sheed has on Tony Kukos. He's too small to guard him down low but the advantage out top as he misses the three-point attempt and Hamilton again no stopping Rip Hamilton coming into the game shooting 36 percent from the field has hit nine of his first 13 21 points already and we have more than six minutes remaining in the second quarter is Hamilton wild shot trying to get it off the glass and a foul and that's their own could be their only downfall red misses a turnaround and Billups gets the rebound. Hamilton, first points of the third quarter. Hamilton with 26 points as if 10 of 15. And boy, has he come out of it in this game. Got off to a blazing start. Here comes Hamilton, Simmons, and Kukoc are back defensively. And Hamilton beats them both. Kind of a, a, a bittersweet game going against the guy who grew the Run so much baseline spin by Rip Hamilton. Again, a 30 point lead. Hamilton now with 30 points tonight. Here is Hamilton getting a step on Williams and another foul. I really felt that Lindsey Hunter and Mike James were the difference maker for Larry Brown's team coming off the bench. They put so much pressure on our guards, causing turnovers and steals. Three on two break here. Hamilton. Hamilton now with 34 points. Five on the shot clock, nearly a minute to go. The basket counts foul. Hamilton again. Hamilton already with a playoff career high, going for his 37th point. Why isn't it about winning right off the it bat? It should always be about winning, but, you know, you're coming into a league and, you know, people don't know you. You want to, you know, get your name in the lights. Hey, uh, Rip Hamilton has his name in the lights. He has scored 40 points in a brilliant effort. And he's been in the lights for many years. He scored 16 here in this third quarter. So our final score tonight, final seconds tick off, and the Pistons will advance. The Pistons 122, the Bucks 93.